But the missing element that made Paul so effective was not just his message and his methodology. It was his motive. Listen as I close and leave some observations with you. He said, you remember when I was with you, and remember, the, the church at Thessalonica, uh, Thessalonica was mostly Gentile. Remember verse chapter 1, you turn from idols. Those wouldn't be Jews, although there were Jewish converts, I'm sure, in the church. Paul always started with the synagogue. You remember when I was with you, how much we loved you. But like a mother, we gently nursed you. And the picture in the Greek is a woman taking down her dress and taking a baby to her breast and feeding the baby. And then he goes on to say something that I haven't met in five ministers probably in my life. For I was determined, not only we loved you so much, not to just give you the gospel. We were ready to give you our lives as well. You know, most ministers are, you know, they send a contract ahead now. I want to treat, preach at the Brooklyn Tabernacle. Here's my minimum honorarium. Paul said, no, we work day and night not to take anything from you. Not that we didn't, couldn't claim it as apostles, but no, when you love people, you go the extra mile. It's like with your kids. I wonder why, I wonder how it was to sit under Paul's sermons. Not only had truth, not only was directed and anointed by the Holy Spirit, but he was madly in love with the agape love of God's Holy Spirit, passionately driving him on. This is how he felt about not people that he grew up with, with gross heathen. This is why Jesus was a friend of sinners. Most ministers in certain circles would never let it be said they, they, they had a sinner who was their friend. Oh, my. I thought you were sold out to God. Yet Jesus was a friend of sinners. How else are you going to win them? People need mostly is love. 